in this session I like to talk about the role of, of the all of these spiritual teachers when we came to this planet earth from the divine we forgot who we are and we forgot our source we have been detached on the surface from the main source in this life we have to remember again who we are the remembering is the key word we, we don't have to become a thing we just have to remember the spiritual teachers like Rumi and Hafez would teach us their poetry would remind us and help us remember who we truly are. They help us to go within and discover our true essence. That is the role of a spiritual teacher. To help you, to help us to remember who we are. To help us to do the very important job that we need to do in this planet Earth. Because anything else that we do in the outside is not really valuable until we discover that true self inside. Then we are reborn again and we can have a new life based on that true essence. So this is very important to listen to the message and, the, and then to take it to our action. Because the whole entire message of these Sufi poets such as Rumi, Hafez, Saadi, and um, Sheikh Attar, they are all the same, same message. Through silence, we're gonna find the truth which is nothing but love, which is nothing but God. One story, it just, I was reading it a long time ago, I'd like to share with you. That is also to support the kind of a talk I just had a moment ago regarding the spiritual teachers. This is in regards to a farmer who, who was going home and on his way home he found a little cob. He brought, he brought, he decided to bring this cob home and to raise it among other animals that he had. So he feed his, this little cob uh, at home uh, in his house for a few weeks. And then once he gets uh, a little bit younger and bigger, he sent him to the, to the, uh, among the sheep and goats to stay in the barn. And each day he would take this whole entire group of sheep and goats and this little uh, cop right now, who is right now is a li young lion, to the mountains, to the hills for them to graze. One day as this group of sh sheep were grazing in the mountain, there's this huge lion comes in and chase them. And it chased them, they all run, they all run for their lives, including our young lion and as the old lion gets near the long young lion he he got very scared he says oh please please do not eat me he says no 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 I'm not eating you he says no no please do not eat me it seems like the, the old lion noticed that this young, young lion needs to know something he says I just want you to come with me he takes this young lion to the near lake and all he does is he sits there, he says, just look in, look inside. This young lion looks inside and he sees the truth. And he looked at the old lion and he compares and he notices some big truth. The big lion says, I haven't done anything. All I have done is to show you, 
to tell you that you are not a sheep. That's all. And now you know that you are not this sheep. You try to start roaring. So the young lion starts roaring. So the responsibility of a spiritual teacher is to tell you the same exact thing. That you are not a sheep. That's all. That's all. The rest, you need to discover it yourself. It's a matter of discovery. Here we are not trying to become anything. In the path of self-realization, we are already are that essence, that peace and that joy. But the, the problem is that we are not aware of that. We have been identified with this false self, which is going, the chattering mind, which is going in our heads and we think that's what we are. The idea is that once we discover that we are not that, then the true reality is gonna shine through us. And therefore, we're gonna get reborn again. And the reborn means we discover our true self and we're gonna act through that essence, not through the chattering mind. So our actions, our decisions, our choices is gonna be aligned and it's gonna be resonating with that source energy. So this is the whole entire idea of self-realization process and the teachers the good teachers are the ones that they are with us to hold us to to show us the path the easy way the best way that suits our needs